you too. You're sitting here twiddling my thumbs. Bear with me. This is the one, two, third time I tried to take this thing. Second time, I told you before, I don't know much about this little webcam thing. I took a snapshot and thought it was recording. You know what I'm talking about? And it's in there waiting on me taking those snaps. Anyway, I got something today that's a little different. Uh, done some trading, trade off a shotgun for another shotgun. Uh, I have no idea what I've got. So, bear with me. Oh, what a gray whisker out there. It sticks out. Anyway, uh, I always wanted a double barrel shotgun. Not an over under. don't want over under. I want a side side. And never found one I could afford to buy. The ones I could afford to buy, it's already trashed out. Wasn't no good to start with. I got one hanging up around the wall now. It's, it's more give it to me. It ain't nothing but a wall hanger. It's old hammer tie, you know, double ear. I'd show it to you, but I can't get it down and fall apart. Uh, but anyway, the ones that I can afford, they're all the pieces. The ones that are nice enough that I would want, can't afford them. And never run across anybody. And all my years of swapping and trading and, and all this kind of stuff, never run across anybody trying to get rid of a, a double barrel that was any good. But I run up on this thing, and I don't know this any good. I have no idea what it is. Never seen one before. So my main quest here is... If you know what this is, if you've ever had one, or if you've got one, please comment and let me know what it is. I know that it's a cobra. I know that it's double barrel. I know that it's 410. So I don't need to know all that stuff. What I need to know is, are they any good? I did find a website that showed them... Uh, didn't find anything on YouTube about them. But what I need to know is, are they any good? Uh, I'm assuming it's not something that you would want to use as far as home defense. I don't know. Maybe it's just a conversation piece. But I know people are firing them because they've made comments on them. I've read little comments where people, you know, and everything I read was pretty good. But to me, it's just a conversation piece, uh, something different. If you've ever watched any of my stuff, you know I like things that are different. Uh, but stock holds three rounds there and you can stick three rounds in the back. Alright, 410, 45. Uh, don't know much about it. Other than the fact that it's pretty neat that it folds up and you can just stick it in your backpack. Just right in the backpack. Alright, now, what I want to know is, does it hold up? I mean, is this something I can get out and play with and shoot 150, 200, 3,000 rounds or whatever? What can you shoot through it? And it still hold it being a good. I don't know. If you say, oh, you shoot 100 rounds through it and it ain't worth a nickel, then I don't want to shoot 100 rounds through it. Uh, looking at it, I don't think it's been shot much, but it has been shot some. But if you say 100 rounds and it's pretty much wore out, then I might shoot two rounds through it, just make sure it shoots all right, and put it up for conversation piece. If you say, yeah, you shoot 1,000 rounds through it, don't worry about it, it works fine, then I ain't going to worry about it. Because I probably in my lifetime, I'll never shoot 1,000 rounds through it. I probably never shoot 10 rounds through it, to be honest. But it's just, it was different. Uh, oh, somebody out there is already asking, and I'm going to show you. It is empty, folks. No, I've said it once, and I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again. I'm an old country boy. I was raised on a, well, I wasn't raised on a farm. I was raised next to the farm, which I worked on all my life until I got up old enough to find me a job. And my daddy had me toting guns in the wood by the time I was five years old. And trust me, I had the kind of daddy, you do something wrong, get your ass, excuse me, I can't say that on here, this is rated P, PG, get your rump wore out. So, but anyway, you never pick up a gun to mess with it if it ain't loaded. If, if, <coughs> see, I can't even talk. You never pick up a gun without checking it to make sure it's not loaded. And that's what I do before every one of these videos. I pick up my gun and I check it to make sure it ain't loaded. Okay? Look. I didn't slide one in it before I closed it up. How about that? Nothing there. Alright. But anyway, getting off the subject here. What I want to know, here, does anybody know anything about these things? Have you ever shot one? Have you ever owned one? Have you ever seen one? Does your buddy have one that you shot or seen him fire? I want to know something about them. What, what can I expect? I haven't fired this yet. I probably will sometime today. But leave me some comments and let me know. Like I said, this is the third time I've tried to take this thing. Every time I mess up something. Uh, but let me know. It's a right neat little gun. There's not much to it. It's lightweight. And like I said, it folds up nice. You can stick it in the backpack, stick it in the back of your truck and a sock, whatever. Pretty nice. 18 and a quarter inches. 18 and a half inches barrel. And that's from tip 
to breech. 31 inches from tip to tip on stock. Okay. Small gun, lightweight. I mean, I ain't nothing to it. It looks like a little cap gun. Pop gun is what it looks like. You know, you used to get them at the fair all the time. You know, you put your little cap, all your little uh, corks in here. Yeah. A little air. Yeah. Anyway, let me know if you know anything about it. So I'm going to cut this one short and sweet. I'm not going to gab on about it. But comment it up if you, if you like this idea. If you like idea, you know, idea. But if you like this type gun, if, if you think it's cool, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you know anything about it and you don't like them, whatever, give me that thumbs down. You know, you know the difference in down and up, right? Okay, good, bad, all right? And, and look. Um, <coughs> just let me know something about it because I don't know anything. Uh, like I said, I've tried to look it up online and ain't much there. But anyway, as always, from Mr. Utah, play hard, play safe. God bless.